solids reacting rather than the liquids and gases. So I'm going to put this into the glass now. So we now have the two solids in the glass. Uh, the reaction that John just did, uh, those are exothermic reactions, blowing up the balloon, the burning candle. Those are reactions in which heat is given off. In this class, I'm going to mix up those two solids now. This is an example of an endothermic reaction. That is, it absorbs heat. And it absorbs so much heat that it will actually get very, very cold. One of the products of this reaction is liquid water, and that's why we form that slurry inside the flask. Well, I'm going to put some water on this piece of filter paper on that block of wood. We'll put the flask on top of that. I'm adding a little bit of water around the edges. This gets so cold that it will actually freeze to the block of wood. Well, that takes uh, about a minute or so to freeze. So while that's uh, going on there, I have a little electrical circuit board here, and I'm going to demonstrate some properties of electrical circuits and a very uh, uh, little known property of glass. So these two bulbs are connected in series. That means if I unscrew one bulb, the other bulb goes off. If I unscrew this bulb, the first bulb goes off. So both bulbs have to conduct electricity. So I'll unplug and put this back into the board for safety. We'll unscrew one of the light bulbs and wrap it up in this paper towel. I'll use my pliers here to break the bulb, and then I'll use the uh, uh, long nose pliers uh, to get the last bits of glass off that so I don't cut myself. I'll use the sidearm cutters on the pliers to cut off the posts that held the filament. And we'll get this broken glass out of the way. Now what I'm going to do is screw that broken bulb back into the socket. Well, if I plug this in, as you would rightly expect, the light bulb doesn't go on because this one is broken. That little known property of glass that I mentioned is that glass, when it's in the molten state, actually becomes a semi conductor, and I'm going to heat what's left of that uh, light bulb with this propane torch to get it up uh, the glass into that molten state, and uh, we just need to heat that up uh, a little bit more to get it into the molten state, and there it is. So the glass itself, that glowing piece of glass there, two pieces of metal stuck in the ends of that, is actually conducting electricity. And the glass is acting like the filament in the light bulb, conducting electricity, heating up, and uh, it stays hot. So if I unscrew that and screw it back in again, it will continue to glow. Well, let's just move over here briefly. I said that uh, this would stay frozen to the block of wood for quite a while. I, what I'm going to do now is just uh, clamp that flask with the block of wood uh, on the uh, end of it. Uh, and you can check this out from time to time. This should stay frozen to the block of wood uh, until the end of the show. Now,